shows in the census records. Mulatto, I hate that term because it's just an umbrella to sweep all Indian people under. And then there was an, after that term came about, then they, they came up with the term um, colored. And that was another big umbrella to sweep all the Indian people under. Anything so they wouldn't have to put the word Indian in the record books. So what they couldn't accomplish with the torch and the gun, they hoped to accomplish with the stroke of a pen. And it's for that reason I reject totally the label of black Indian because I've seen people use that term. I've seen some of our own people use it themselves, but usually it's an externally applied term. And uh, I reject that totally as long as there are blonde-headed Mohawks and blue-eyed Cherokees who are not identified as Euro-Indians, why should any Indian that has any black ancestry be identified as a black Indian? What's good for the goose has to be good for the gander, but it's just a reflection of the racism that's in this society in general. When this whole idea of <coughs> recognition, federal recognition, uh, uh, started to manifest itself, the government was basically holding up a hoop that we all had to jump through as tribes. And so, if you couldn't make it through, or if you're almost making it through, and they decided to raise it higher, you had to jump higher and do even more tricks. So, it ends up with a process where mountains and mountains of detailed documentation has to be put together to submit to the very same people who have spent all of the time here on your land trying to stop your existence. That's essentially what the uh, uh, recognition process is, in a nutshell.